Hi everyone, just coming on quickly to show you some of the distressing ideas that I've got here. Um, I'm in the middle of making a couple of tags and um, I just started distressing this one and then I thought, do you know what, I'm going to come on and just share some of the techniques I use. So I've got a few distressing tools here. I have got We Are Memory Keepers and it's the Distressing Heart. It's got a small razor blade in there that you use from the button. So you can slide it up and down as a safety guard. And then it's got a sanding tool. You get a few of these with it. I think you get three. Um, and it's a great wee tool. The other one I've got is the Tim Holtz Distressing Tool. And inside all the, the wee notches is a razor blade. It's not my favourite distressing tool. It does the job that it's asked to do, but I think there's better ones out in the market. Um, where is it? This one I got from... I can't even remember. I have had this since I started scrapbooking when Jaden was a baby, so you'd come back seven years ago. Um, and it's fantastic. It's, it is getting a bit worn. It is a very fine um, sandpaper. But I love it. And I'm actually really sad that it's starting to go. I'm going to need to try and find another one. And then last but not least is just an old emery board. Um, one side a bit finer than the other. And lastly, your exacto knife or craft knife, whatever you like to call it. Um, so first of all, I'll show you the We Are Memory Keepers. Um, I'll try and see if I've got a bit of space card because I don't want to stress that too much. Um, so this is a blue just scrap paper, card, sorry, and it's white core, so all you're doing with this is I normally put my thumb through there to give it a bit of um, support, and then you're just and you're getting that effect, and you can just Sand down the wee extra bits that are hanging off to give you that effect. So that's the wee and memory keepers. That is actually one of my favourite ones. Um, Tim Holtz. Um, in fact, I've got a wee bit of paper in there already. Um, I'll just tear another wee bit off. And I'm going on the flat side so there's nothing distressed on me sides it's all the torn bit that you'll see. So this is a uh, Tim Holtz and as you'll see it does take a lot more work. I feel anyway. I mean it does do the job, it's just I feel there's better out in the market. And you can just play around with it till you get what you're looking for. Then I've got this, and as I said, this was one of my favourite. And it's just, this is a really subtle. If you've got like a crease that you're wanting to, I'll just show you that first. Like that. It just scores and slightly, I don't even know if you'll see that as clearly. You'll see it's slightly whitened the edges there. As I say, that is one of my favourite ones. Then we've got the good old emery board, and again I'll just tear a bit off, and you'll see there's nothing on it at all, and then you're just roughing it up with that. And 
and you can be as light or as heavy as you like for them. Makes no difference. As I said, that's a great wee tool and you can pick up packs of them for out the pound shop. And lastly is your distress knife, eh, your exacto knife. You need to be careful when you're using this obviously for obvious reasons. But you just, what I normally do is keep my fingers on each side of the card to give me a bit more support. And then just hold my craft knife really close to the tip. And just, if you're only wanting it lightly distressed, just run it up and down a few times. And you'll see it's very distressed. If you're wanting to make it really dig your knife in a wee bit, and it'll gouge some parts out. Like that, and then you just distress them. It says I really like that form of distressing because I feel it's got more substance to it because I can but only use this if you are ha you are comfortable using an exacto knife and you're very safe using it. I have been using an exacto knife for seven years um, and I'm very comfortable with it. But as you'll see there when I'm using it, I try and aim away from my closest digits, like you'll see my thumbs up there, I will try and aim away from that. And you just, until you get what you want, you just keep going. And if you're doing that even on, let's see, on a card with a picture in front of it or whatever, it will make a difference with being so distressed. Then you can go over it with your inks if you wish. With the white, um, the white core, it's probably not needed that much. Um, but it's up to you. And as you see, it does make an awful mess. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that helps some of you um, to try distressing. It is a great technique and it can aid your project in seconds. Anyway, I will speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.